Hey, great to be with you all. It's a beautiful day here in Southern California. I'm just hoping the surfish want to play this morning. All right, see where that wave is breaking? I want to be coming through that white water because when that surf hits the sand, it dislodges clams and all kinds of other little critters like sandworms and sand crabs and those fish are feeding on that. I think I have like the brain power of a fish, not much more than that. Those fish stayed right behind those breaking waves. And when the waves break, they swim in and they start looking for morsels to eat. That's when you want your lure to come through them. See that wave breaking out there? You're coming right through that. That wave is dislodging all the feed in the surf and the fish come in right behind it to feed. Let's see if it works. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Feels good, feels good, feels good. Maybe a flatty, maybe a yellowfin croaker. It's a little halibut. I'll take it. Let's get them up here on the beach and get them back in the water. Good stuff. Not the biggest halibut in the world, but there's something special about pulling a halibut out of the surf, no matter what size it is. Really fun stuff. Remember, they've got to be 22 inches in length. Fun stuff. Hopefully more to come. I'm fishing around Sunset Beach down here to Anderson and PCH, maybe a little bit beyond that, and things look much better. There's a pot of dolphin right outside of me feeding. There's all kinds of bird life. It looks way, way, way better. So I think we're looking at a good weekend here in SoCal for surf fishing. Another thing I like to do is maybe make five, six casts and then walk six feet, make another five, six casts, cover ground. It's really important. A lot of sand crabs in here also. Another really good sign. Sandworm, sand crabs. There's some pelicans crashing offshore. As previously mentioned, there are some uh, dolphin out offshore feeding. Very lively in here today. Hopefully it's getting ready to rock and roll. I do want to make this comment because it really goes with what is currently going on. Remember that stretch when I couldn't catch anything on the artificials? I was throwing a chrome crocodile all winter long, never got a bite. That's very typical in the winter time. You've got to fish bait here in Southern California in the winter time. Now, as I look offshore, and I don't know if you can see it, but there's a flock of pelicans out there. It's crashing the water way, way, way outside. There's bait fish, and that bait fish can move in on the beach in many occasions. So now fish are transitioning and starting to bite the lures, whether it's a lucky craft or a chrome crocodile, a cast master, whatever is your favorite, they're starting to bite that now. So one tip that I could give you right now is keep your eyes open for the birds. And if you happen to see birds moving closer to the beach, get over there and start tossing your lure because if there's birds, there's pelicans, there's bait fish. And if there's bait fish, there's fish feeding on the bait fish. And they are more likely to consume something that looks like a bait fish, namely your lure. So birds, always important, but becoming increasingly more important now. Find the birds, find the bait, you'll find the fish. Oh yeah, they're biting two different species today. I'm starting to love this, it's fun. So after about 26 last casts, I'm ready to go. Great day, no question about it. A couple hours on the beach, I got a little refreshing day on the water, saw some porpoise, met some people, caught a couple of fish, and it didn't cost me anything. It was a great morning, no question about it. If you're fishing the surf, I like that window two hours before the high until two hours after. If you're looking for yellowfin croaker and that kind of a species, if you're after halibut, corvina, low tide is fine for that. Once again, looks a lot more active. Had a couple of fish, had a beautiful morning, and hopefully the fishies will play for you this weekend. Don't forget to stop by our sponsor's place, Big Fish Bait and Tackle, on the corner of Seal Beach Boulevard and Pacific Coast Highway, Opsin Fluorocarbon. And don't forget Fish Taco Chronicle Magazine. Great articles every single week. And of course, Dawa, our rod and reel sponsor. Please give them a look today. Thanks everybody. I might come out here and hit it again at sundown. We'll check it out. Make sure you check back 
as we'll keep you in touch with the latest. Sincerely appreciate everything. Make sure you subscribe, get your friends to subscribe, your mom, your dad, your uncle, your grandma, everybody. We deeply appreciate all your great support. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Take care, everybody.